Hello, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can turn a measly stack of fruit and crops into diamonds. So obviously before we begin I need to ask you to like and subscribe because that just makes me feel better, so please do it. So if you hadn't guessed already, we're going to be using these marvellous long-nosed fellows to do it. Now before you click off this video, think about it. The farmer over here offers trades. All of them do. And you can trade 22 carrots for an emerald. So you can see here that this farmer, who's level 2, because I've Aww. traded with him a little bit so that I could get it for this video. So if you have 22 carrots, it gives you an emerald. That's nice. And you can use that one emerald to buy six pieces of bread. Or you could use that one emerald to buy four apples. Or, if you did that trade three times, you could buy 18 cookies with it. Now, on the surface, that may appear just, oh yeah, food because don't eat carrots. What do you think of my nice little farm? I know it's lovely, I made it myself. That's why melons and pumpkins are useful because you can trade these with the farmer villagers for emeralds. Or better yet, you set yourself up an automatic farm. Wink, wink, possible future video So while we're over here, taking a small break from this brilliant tutorial, you can see over there, what is that in the distance? That looks like a TNT cannon. If you want to watch the video on me making this and a quick tutorial on how to make it, click the card in the top right corner, please. Watch my videos, makes me feel wanted. Back to the video. And look, I've been farming for a very long time. You can see here in my inventory, I've got three stacks of carrots. Ignore the creative menu, I definitely didn't pull them all out of there. But anyway, then after we've done that, we can go over to our farmer here. And after we've swapped all of those carrots for these lovely emeralds here, we can go on to another villager. For example, the librarian, who if you give him a book and some emeralds, he gives you an enchanted book, which you can add on to any of your equipment. However, this guy isn't really that important for what we're doing today. So, instead, you can go onto the armorer here, who, if you buy some more, I call these useless trades because they're just really stuff you don't need. You can just buy lots and lots of this stuff so that it levels him all the way up so that he can get to these levels here, four and five, where he sells you enchanted diamond armor, which is brilliant. And if you have multiple of these guys, you can probably get a full set of it. So, already, you've got a full set of enchanted diamond armor just from farming. Or, if you've got an automatic farm, literally just from waiting. And better, you've got your enchanted diamond armor, but you can't complete the set until you've got enchanted diamond tools. So you can do some more of these useless trades, stone hose and bells. I don't know why you'd need any of those unless you really like farming or you want to make lots of villagers. But you can get down here to these levels, three or four, there is a fifth one, I haven't got to that yet, but that's fine, this is only for the purpose of explanation. But you can buy a diamond hose, I don't really see why you'd need that, but um, whatever I guess. And you can see here, diamond to emerald, this trade isn't particularly good, I think this is on most toolsmiths, if not all of them. It's really useless, don't do it. But here, 24 emeralds for an enchanted diamond axe. 24 emeralds for an enchanted diamond axe. That enchanted diamond axe is solely from you farming or from just letting an automatic farm farm for you. So you trade in with him, you can trade with these two, and you've got you there you've got yourself a full set of enchanted diamond armor and a full set of enchanted diamond tools. If you've got multiple of these guys, you can get different enchantments, you can get different weapons, different armor, and most villages even have farms in them. And now if you check with the local farmers, if they do trades for the stuff they have in their own farms, you can farm their farms, sell it back to them, and then trade it for enchanted diamond gear. So that was how you can turn fruit and crops into diamonds. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe so it makes me feel appreciated. If you want to watch other tutorials like this, let me know. What do you want to know how to do in Minecraft? I do things in Minecraft. Also, don't forget that possible video nod I made over there, like wink wink, wink wink, nudge nudge, automatic farms. If you want to see that, leave us a like. And that's it from me. Goodbye.